So today's smoke on this beautiful fall day is a J.C. Newman Cigar Company Classic. This is the Cuesta Rey Centro Fino Sun Grown. These have been in rotation for a long time and I've never tried it and I saw it the other day at a brick and mortar and I thought, you know what, here's a good chance. So as far as cigar bands go, this one screams classic smoke right here. Look at this, beautiful presentation. I'm expecting good things. Mm. Quite a loose draw. In the dry draw here, I'm getting uh, cedar, really rich tobacco. I'm excited about this one. Here we go. <laughs> oh man, right off the bat, awesome flavor. Wow, what is that? Okay, so I'll just, I'll comment on one thing. The retro hail, it's a little spicy. Nice white pepper in there, pure. Oh, that has a good taste. I'm getting like an oat. Getting like a breakfast cereal vibe, if that makes sense. Hmm, kind of a bell peppery oatmeal. I don't know, maybe I'm off about this, but that is just, that is a good start. All right, here we are on the first third. This is a fast burn. Um, it's not quite as loose of a draw as maybe a Camacho is, but I'm actually really liking the draw. The problem is I can't help myself. I'm puffing on it every like 30, 45 seconds because it's so good. So I wouldn't say it's a pepper bomb, but it has a really strong, good pepper taste. And I, I really enjoy those earthy flavors in cigars. So this one's actually really nice to me. The burn, a little wonky, but I think it's gonna even itself out because the build quality actually looks really good with this cigar. I think it's visually pleasing. I think it actually tastes really good. Um, my taste buds, full disclosure, my taste buds are a little bit skewed because after I tasted the flavor from the first draw, uh, the, the pepper, I decided to grab me a uh, Michelada or the Bud Light Michelada. And honestly, I'll say these things right here, these things are pairing. These are a pair right here. I'm not usually a fan of the Bud Light Michelada, it's just all the grocery store had when I went. Um, if I do drink a Michelada, I prefer the Modelo. But that in itself is just, you know, that's its own thing. Most people really that I talk to don't like Micheladas, but I appreciate the taste. So getting back to this, really good flavors of earth, Awesome tobacco with a little bit of sweetness, kind of nutty. Really nice, white, thick smoke. Um, the mainstay with this one though, the main thing I, I'm tasting is pepper and uh, cedar. But classic flavors of a really good smoke. So. That's just the first third. I mean, it looks like the burn's already kind of evening itself out a little bit. I'll see how that goes. But awesome so far. Awesome cigar. The minstrels of the dawn is here to make you like a vendor. Okay. So here we are in the second third. Uh, we're getting close here to the first of two foot bands. And uh, here in a second, I'll be taking that off. I'm getting a little bit more of a mild cedar flavor and more of that bready earth flavors coming out. Um, the retro hail is much easier, so that smooths that a lot. Other than that, this to me has been really a classic Dominican smoke. I mean, this, this cigar just screams classic to me. 
I don't know why. I mean, maybe it's because of this vintage looking footband here, but it's not new to the cigar market or anything like that. But it's just, it's just what I'm getting from it. It's, it's, it's very pleasant all around, and it's, it's kind of what I would picture a cigar would taste like if I'd never smoked a cigar. I would picture something like kind of a semi-sweet tobacco flavor with earthy notes and all that stuff. It's very vague. Um, so at this moment, there's no real standout, if that makes sense. I mean, yes, I just said bread and nuttiness and all that, but they've just taken a little bit of a turn upwards while the cedar and, and um, pepper has taken a turn downwards. So they're kind of all meshed together now to make just a pretty decent flavor. Um, everything's pretty mild. Nothing's really punching me in the face right now. It's a nice windy day. So on camera here, let's see how good the vegetable glue, look at that, perfect. No problems. Everything's perfect. So there you go. I will say that this is a really nice cigar to just have in your hand. This is one that, I mean, I would buy a box of these because they're just all around pleasant. They're not too odorous. Like, I don't feel like this is one that people would go, mm, I need to take a shower. I mean, I feel like I could smoke this and then go out to eat and I wouldn't feel self-conscious that I smell too much like a cigar. So this is definitely one that's something to keep in mind. This isn't one that I feel like is gonna put the stink on you all day. And you know, when you smoke a cigar and you have a beard, it's something you really think about a lot. Because this right here holds everything in. I've smoked cigars that were strong before that I could smell it in my mustache two days later of course, I barely go two days without smoking a cigar, but I digress. Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waste and the minutes two hours? So the biggest change from the second to third, third, is the Gordon Lightfoot song I chose to sing at the beginning of the clip. So far, not much has changed from the second third to the third third. Um, it's still a really solid smoke. The second foot band came off without a problem at all. Um, still getting the same awesome flavors. They're still, still all meshed together very nicely. Getting kind of a bready feel. And by that I mean when I take a puff I get like this full mouth feel. I mean it, it's weird, it's like, it's got a short finish, like I'm already, it's over. But when it's there, and it's like all in your mouth and all those flavors are just meshing together, it's like really pleasant, really good. If you have a chance to pick this up at a local brick and mortar shop, uh, online or wherever you pick up your cigars, I would suggest trying it. Um, I got this one actually in a local place downtown and yeah this is definitely one I would pick up again it's not very expensive at about eight fifteen for one um, it's under ten bucks also pick yourself up a Michelada but the Modelo one um, I think I think you'll like that or something smoky, maybe a bourbon. I think a bourbon would be really good with this too. I personally would rate this cigar about a nine out of 10. You know, I mean, I was thinking eight, five, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really good smoke. And you know, even right now, it's not hot up here. It's a little warm right here, but I mean, it's not one of those that tunnels in, you know, as, as a lot of loose straws do. 
there's like a tunnel in and like it starts to get really warm down here, but it's not. It's staying really powerful. It's staying really cool down here and it, right here it's warm. But I mean, that's to be expected. That's right there at the cherry. The ash hung on really well. Um, it was a little wonky at times, but look, it's kind of straightened itself out. I think that six by 50 was a, a really great size. I think that was a perfect size for this flavor profile. I got the flavors I needed out of it. Yeah, awesome, awesome cigar. Nine out of 10, so. All right, I know it's been a little while since I've made a video. I'm sorry about that, guys. I've been working crazy hours, but just know I've still been smoking them, and um, I miss you guys. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing, and there'll be more like it coming. So thanks, you guys, for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.